Hello, ladies, and welcome to another episode of the Forever Love Podcast. I'm your host, Lily Matonguiza, and I'm a Christ-centered relationship coach for single women who want to pursue their God-given desire for a Christ-centered marriage. I'm also a wife and mom of two amazing little girls, and I am deeply committed to preventing divorce by helping single women prepare for one of the most critical decisions of their life with confidence. Each week, I'm doing a quick tip episode where you're going to learn an easy to implement strategy, mindset, insight, or tip to help you move one step closer to forever love. You know, the kind of love that is intimate, equal, intentional, unconditional, and most importantly, founded upon a relationship with Christ. I hope that this podcast is like soothing balm to your aching soul during this season of singleness. So let's begin. Thank you so much for being here today. I want you to know how much I appreciate you for inviting me into your life to walk with you during your season of singleness. This is another quick tip episode of the Forever Love podcast, and today we're going to talk about modesty. First of all, what is modesty? Modesty is a judgment. It's a way of describing ourselves and others. Therefore, it goes into the mind category of the life code. Now, if you don't know about the life code yet, I want you to go back to episode five, where I talk about this brilliant way of understanding the world and using this tool as a way to adopt the mind of Christ by understanding the thoughts you have helping yourself to surrender them to Christ, and then see the world and your circumstances through the eyes of God. So it contains five categories, one of which is mind. And the idea of modesty is a thought that goes into the mind category. Now, many single women are trying to walk this fine line between being beautiful and being modest, and they want to be attractive, but they don't want to be a stumbling block, and they're afraid of coming off as vain or superficial. So the way we talk about and think about our appearance is going to create and affect our emotions. I've noticed that one of the most common emotions women feel about their own appearance is shame. They think something is wrong with the way they look. Ultimately, they believe that God must have got it wrong somewhere. Their butt isn't supposed to be this size. Their boobs should have been more symmetrical. They're not supposed to have hair on their lips and their hips are supposed to look a certain way and they should be able to run up three flights of stairs without getting sweaty or winded. They also believe that people are supposed to look at them differently. Men shouldn't be superficial, women shouldn't be so judgy, and people should know that it's what's on the inside that counts. And so not only do we spend a lot of time arguing with reality, but we also become superficial and judgy of ourselves. So today, I want to provide an alternative way to think about modesty. First of all, modesty has nothing to do with your clothes. Whether you're wearing a mini skirt, a parka, or nothing at all, you could believe that you are modest. Think about Adam and Eve and how much time they spent standing around in all their glory without the slightest twinge of awkwardness. There was nothing wrong with what they were, or in their case, weren't, wearing until they had a new thought about it. Eventually, they thought, we're naked and that's bad. Now, I want to share a little side theory that I like to imagine. I have this theory that we're much bigger on the inside than we are on the outside. I think that our souls are gigantic. And before the fall, I think Adam and Eve were far more aware of their souls than their physical bodies. And I think that after the fall, They lost that perception of themselves, and all they could see were these weird, fleshy skin bits that flapped and flopped and pooped and made all sorts of undignified sounds. And then they looked down at their bodies, and they were like, eek, we're naked, and we need to do something to cover this up, because this is bad. But... 
can you imagine what it would be like to live uninhibited by your physical appearance? Because this is what I think modesty is all about. It's not about the level to which you cover up your body or how much skin you show. It's about seeing yourself and others as you truly are. Now, I'm going to talk about fashion and style in an upcoming episode, but for today, I wanted to share this quick tip with you. Let modesty be an attitude that you put on about yourself and others instead of about the length of your skirt or the tightness of your pants. Let modesty be about getting rid of the judgments that get in the way of us seeing ourselves and others the way God sees us. Hemlines, nails, hair, heels, and lashes have nothing to do with the way God sees you. With or without them, you are who you are in the eyes of Jesus. Loved, worthy, beautiful, cherished. I hope that this has been helpful for you because I know there are days when you look in the mirror and you wonder what happened, or you look at old pictures and you just cringe. And instead, I want you to be able to know that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. You always have been and you always will be. Thank you once again for allowing me to walk with you. And if you know someone who needs to hear this today, please share it with them. The shame you're walking around with is the only thing you need to clean out of your wardrobe. Until the next episode of the Forever Love Podcast, God bless you.